hi everyone so today our topic is how to silently install and uninstall a viva plant skeda 2023 r2 so we will be working on that today let's start the very first thing we have to do is to go through the manual <coughs> or the help file so there is we have unattended silent installation so we use that we use this feature when we don't want to engage during the installation like uh, we have to select the language we have to do the next or rest things so if you want to uh, ignore those things then we can use unattended silent installation so how to do that so response file will be required to do that so these re response files will be given in the installation folder so where we will find those how to use those we will be doing uh, all those things so let's go to the vm here we have a viva plant scada 2023 r2 setup so if we go to the manual first so it's saying to so firstly we will perform the installation activity so for the installation this is our command so we'll copy this go to the vm we have to open cmd with administrative privileges okay then we have to uh, go to this folder in this uh, command prompt so what we have to do cd then a folder path we'll paste it here hit enter now we are in that folder with admin privilege now we have to copy the command okay we have pasted it we just have to change the response file path so now we will check where will the where we will find the response files so we have to go to the install files folder then here we have response files so these files will be given with the setup itself so here we have all development workstation runtime client server so if you want to install all the components of uh, viva plant scada then you have to go with all then if you want development workstation where you can develop the application or uh, develop your project then you have to go with the development workstation if you want to go only with the uh, runtime client then go with this if you want a server installation then you can go with this so for example if we want to go with the development workstation so we can simply copy the name from here firstly we will get the path we will add this path into the here then we have to copy this name as well that we want a development workstation to be installed on this system so we can copy the name or we can type as well dot txt as it's a txt file okay so we have to hit enter so now the installation has been started so we have to wait until <coughs> installation finished so it may restart during the installation so once it's restart then we can got to know like uh, installation is completed so we can move further so yeah let's wait it will take a couple of minutes <coughs> 